Hi guys, so today's video I'm going to show you how I do my current or recent go-to makeup, all the products that I've been using, loving, and recommending to you guys. My background is different because I'm in the middle of a move right now. I'm really excited for everything to come together and it is kind of taking a while. I'll have more updates on all of this soon. So this is my typical day or night like put together look. Same with hair, but hair honestly is just bed head. I get it from sleeping with it up and then keeping it up while I get ready. So you'll see all that in this video. It's just like a youthful, glowy look. It's very natural, soft, in my opinion. So let's get started. I have crazy bed head right now. So to start, I'm gonna put my hair up out of the way. That way you're not constantly touching your hair, making it greasy, especially if you don't wash it every single day. I feel like when my hair is down and I'm doing my makeup, I'm constantly like touching it and moving it. So your hands are gonna make your hair greasy faster. So let's just get this mess out of the way. So now that you look like a troll doll, your canvas is ready to work with. To begin, I'm going to use the Nip and Fab Smooth Venom Micro Blur Fix Face Primer. That's this guy right here. This primer is awesome if you have drier or combination skin. So it's going to fill in the fine lines and pores and problem areas, really just blurring the look of them. That way your foundation or your concealer doesn't settle in those. And I'm using my viewfinder as a mirror because I don't currently have one here. <laughs> I have like my gigantic mirror for when I'm getting dressed and then like these little compact mirrors. So, sorry I keep looking up here when you guys are down here. Now that my face is primed, I'm gonna even out the look of my skin by using foundation first. This is the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Fit Me Foundation. So that's what this one looks like and the older I get, the more combination skin I have. My skin used to be super oily, but now my skin's just oily in the summer. When the seasons are changing, my skin is more combination. And then in the winter, it's pretty dry, like it even peels. I don't know what's going on. It doesn't know either, <laughs> apparently. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. Be right back. Okay, I think I got a little random janky setup. Doing what I can with what I have to work with. I also cleaned up this little distraction a little bit too because if it was distracting to me, I know it was distracting you guys. Speaking of distracting. Anyways, moving on. Where were we? Foundation. So I'm going to take my little foundation brush and blot this in like the main areas of the face. So forehead, nose, chin, and then cheeks. And then from there I just blend out in like little circles. You're going to feel like an artist at work. Working on a masterpiece. So you're gonna be all one even tone for the most part, besides areas that are more troublesome like this little guy. So one light layer on all over to help even you out. Why the days that I film someone does lawn work? It never fails, literally every time. Blessed. So now to get even more coverage or even out your skin even more, especially for the problem areas such as this guy, under eye, whatever it is, maybe you get a lot of redness through the cheek or nose area, you're going to use your concealer. So this is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Color Correcting Cream and this is the shade Banana. This shade is lighter so not only is it going to give extra coverage but it's also going to help to highlight. And that's what it is in the jar itself. I love this concealer, especially recently because, like I said, my skin is on the combination side, so it doesn't make me oily or doesn't add oil. It's great coverage and it lasts all day. So highlight areas and problem areas. So I'm just going to start right there. Boom. Then you guys know, or I'm assuming that you know, all highlight areas. So you're going to do the under eye in like a triangle shape getting that redness in my cheek, as well as dark circle. <laughs> because what is sleep? And you can see I'm kind of just doing like a blotting motion to first apply and then I'm gonna blend it out. Around the nose I have redness and broken blood vessels as well as scars, so I'm gonna get around there. My chin, and then swipe a little bit under my cheekbone. Yes! Uh-huh, honey. Okay, so now we're gonna blend out. So this is the Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush in Natural 57. And this mirror is dirty AF. Cute. We're gonna do little circles. 
Just like blending this out. Don't forget your little nose holes. So today I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever HD Translucent Powder. I'm sure most of you guys own this or have used it before. And we're gonna take a fluffier brush. You're going to shove this translucent powder up underneath your eyeball. And then just blot it also on other highlight areas to set. And I am blotting it, as you can see, not blending it out yet. So you're gonna let that set. So now you can do whatever, text your friends, get a beverage, have a snack, clean up your area, whatever you wanna do while you're waiting for it to bake. You can also just continue on. So I'm going to continue on with my contour. So for that, I'm going to warm up the skin as well as contour using my Hoola Benefit Bronzer. That's this guy, again, another product I'm sure literally all of you own or have owned. It gives you a very natural look without pulling like an orange tone to it. So it is more on the browner, um, chocolatey side. So for this, I'm gonna use my NYX 05 or 5 brush. I love this guy. So cute, perfect size. And we're gonna do the cheekbones first. So I'm gonna dab that guy in there. And then I'm just gonna blend this in. So my cheekbone area, which is right here. And when you make that little sucking face, you can find it easier. So this is really gonna chisel your face and warm up the skin giving dimension, you can also do under your chin to hide that double chin. And it also creates like a stronger jawline too. Just make sure you really blend it out under here because if you don't, you're gonna have like a little chin strap and like a little bronze beard. Sounds like a pirate name. Do the top of the forehead or by the hairline. All these little baby hairs wanna get in on the action. Then I'm gonna do my nose. So I'm gonna contour that guy. So I'm gonna narrow down the bridge of it. Also, well, my entire face, both sides are totally different. I'm not symmetrical at all in any aspect. Literally, like eyes, brows, nose, lips, ears, literally everything on me is not the same. So with that said, I'm going to chisel one side more than the other or contour more on one side or the other to help match the other side, which is thinner naturally or already. So you may notice that, and if you picked up on that ever, that's why. So to contour, I'm gonna use my Morphe MB27 brush. It's this really tiny little guy, and it's like pointed at the end. So it's super easy to work with. So what I did was a little line about three quarters of the way down on the side of the bridge here, then a little line pretty much top to bottom and then darkening or shading in the corner here to match this side, which is my thinner side. And then once that's on there, you can just blend it out. So now I'm done with my contour, I'm just gonna wipe away the excess translucent powder or blend that in. So now for my brows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in Soft Brown and my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Build a Brow Number 12 brush. So it's just like an angled liner or brow brush with little brow guy right there. That's the brow pomade. And I'm gonna start on like the tail end. So I'm just gonna pull this down to where brow should go because I don't really have brows naturally. <laughs> So this is gonna fill in the color and shape. So it's gonna give a lot of definition. Then I'm just gonna bring the line down right to the beginning here. Sort of framing or squaring off, I guess you can say. And then pull the color upwards into the brow. So you can see a huge difference. And like I said before, I do get these dyed once a month typically. I am past due. <laughs> so now that both my brows are there. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my highlight. For my highlight, I'm going to use the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. Look how perfect this is. 
so beautiful. I love this highlighter. To apply, I'm going to use my Morphe M601 brush, so just a fan brush. And we're going to apply this guy right on the cheekbone. Then on my nose, with the same highlighter, I'm going to use the Sigma FX5 brush. So this little tiny guy here, it's got like a feathery tip on it. So I apply it right on the tip of my nose here and then a thin line down the bridge of my nose. Then you can also do your brow bone above your cupid's bow on your lip. You can do your collarbones, your chest, however you want to apply it, that's up to you. It's that glow though, it's still fierce AF without the sun. Moving on to eyes, I'm gonna do my mascara. So this is the Clinique, shoot, what is this called? The label is like all faded and I've used this guy for years. Not this tube obviously, but this type and I can't remember which one it is. So this is the High Lengths Mascara. Comes in this white and silver tube, and then the wand is pretty cool. I've never actually seen another wand like this before, but it's got like this little praying mantis hand on it. <laughs> See, it's like curved, and it's also green, and it has tiny little teeth along the edges there. So it's great for picking up all your lashes and creating a lot of length. Starting with top lash, I just kind of like start at the base and then wiggle, and then pull up and out. Boom. And then you're kind of just like combing through the lashes because the way that the brush is built, it is like a little mini comb. Then I'm just going to tip the bottoms about three quarters of the way in so I don't bring it all the way over corner to corner. If you do get any on the lash line or the lid or whatever, wait till it's dry and then take like a little blank mascara wand or a little brow brush guy or something whatever you want and you can just scrape off the dried mascara. It'll just flake right off instead of smudging. To finish up the lashes, I'm going to apply little corner falsies and these are Morphe, but I honestly cannot remember the name right now. So I'm gonna look that up and be listed in the description box. But there are these little tiny corner pieces, which hopefully you can see that. Little tiny guys, just kind of like flare out at the end. So it's just gonna add a little bit more drama to the eye. So I'm going to use my Duo Lash Glue and just put a thin line, let it dry for a couple seconds, like get a little tacky, and then you're just going to plop him right on the corner. Obviously lashes are preference, same with the style lash, if you want to do a fuller lash or like a full corner to corner lash, that's up to you. If you totally want to skip it, that's also cool. Do you boo boo. So we're just going to put this guy right on the outer corner. Don't you worry, boo-boo. That lash glue will dry clear. So it goes on white, but when it dries, you won't see it. So then you can kind of just like fluff them in with your real lashes. I'm gonna go with a very simple lip. So I'm gonna use my MAC Cream Sheen Glass. And this is a Nectar Sweet. It's very nude, natural, lip color looking pink with a light like champagne sheen to it. And just pop that gun on. Super natural and light. So for day to day, I'll typically just grab one of these really light natural glosses, or I'll just go with lip balm. Uh, my favorite or go-to is a Skin Fix Flavor Free Lip Balm Repair. It's really soothing and soft. It's not sticky. It doesn't have any flavor or scent to it. It's really good for dry chapped lips or especially right after filler. So I really like this one, which looks like this in the dark. It's kind of reflective. Hopefully you can see that, even though it's shining in your eyeballs. Now you can take this crazy hair down. Then just give it a quick spray with hairspray or something if you want to hold it. It will fall more throughout the day, especially if it is humid or hot outside. But that's everything for my recent go-to look. All the makeup and all the products that I use will be listed in the description box. Thank you for your patience with me while I'm moving. I haven't really had the time to film or edit as much as I planned on or want to. So thank you guys for your support always and for your patience with me there. I'm planning on doing a room slash house tour type video as well as other 
um, like decorating, decor, DIY type videos. So if you are excited for that, if you do want to see that, please give this video a thumbs up. Also give it a thumbs up if you liked this video in general. Thank you so, so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.